Shielded metal arc welding, or stick, uh, historically is the oldest format for electric welding on sculpture. Here's a, this shows the length of the electrode at the start of the weld, and uh, the electrode is basically consumed during the welding process. This is a close-up of the weld after it's finished. This technique is uh, a padding technique where you move forward, preheat the metal in front, and then move back and deposit in the weld bead. It has a different signature than the other welds that we've seen before. Stick welding is really versatile. It also is very useful in the wind. Uh, and it's extremely strong and you can weld many different kinds of materials with it. A lot of alloys have been developed for stick welding. There's a flux coating on the electrode that uh, offers a shield over the weld metal and it produces a gas that will keep oxygen from coming into the weld zone. A flux coating covers the weld uh, after we've made the weld. It can be chipped off and it uh, keeps the weld from cooling too fast. This is what the flux coating looks like on the weld. If you weld it right, the flux will start to chip off by itself. Here's an example of a clean weld. Stick welding is really useful for tacking, especially with rusty metal. You can uh, do a lot of forms with old found metal and uh, it's very quick. It's also, you can be dexterous with it and get it in tight places. Stick is being used on this piece to uh, build up a form by cutting the side pieces to mirror each other and then rolling up a piece that will later be trimmed with plasma. Here's an example of building up an armature with rod first and then creating a form out of strap material over the outside and tacking it in place. Here's an installation where a lot of strength was needed at the base because the figure is balanced on one foot. You can get in tight places. Here's another example of a real tight place, welding on rusty metal, but the welds will be really strong and enduring over time and against the elements.